Growing up, I had flat feet, really bad. Who knew Dr. Berg had flat feet? Hey guys, this is Growing Healthy, the show where we explore self-improvement through movement. Now, Dr. Berg is probably the hardest working content producer on YouTube. So today we're gonna to talk about art supports and how they can actually make someone's flat feet worse. Now, if you followed this channel, you know that I've been against the orthotics for what is referred to as flat feet. I see them as being more of a crutch that creates dependence further weakening your feet making the problem worse while costing you time and money. I tried every single art support, custom orthotics, you name it. He touched on a few reasons why he believes flat feet exist or they're so prevalent in today's world. And he explained that low manganese and vitamin D in infancy could be a indicator for developing flat feet. My theory is that it's either a manganese deficiency uh, at birth or a vitamin D deficiency. I'm still a member of the camp that believes the key to fixing flat feet is through strength and flexibility. And it seems Dr. Berg is also. Take those arches out and allow your feet to strengthen on their own. You're gonna find that without that little handicap, the little arch, that the, the muscles in the lower part of the leg will adapt and they'll become stronger. Now he recounts how he had massaged his feet and that led to immediate relief to the pain that he had in his feet and that set off a light bulb in his brain and that he received added benefits from stretching when he was at home through the flexion of his feet. And he demonstrates in his video a cross-legged stretch technique that he has used to rehabilitate his feet. Take the toes and we're just gonna stretch them like this. Now I found that flexibility is a large factor in fixing foot issues most of which are caused from narrow and inflexible footwear that have stiffened our joints, leaving 33 of our joints with no chance of maneuverability. In this video, I'm gonna give you a few techniques that you can use to stretch your tibialis muscle and your ankle range of motion. In Dr. Berg's video, he performs basically a cross-legged flexion in which he stretches the forefoot and the shin muscles, mainly the tibialis anterior. Now, this is a great starting point, but we're gonna take this a step further with two more techniques or progressions, therefore alleviating much of the discomfort that you may have with flat feet. The next progression may be uh, very familiar to you with your legs bent and you sitting on your heels. And you'll feel immediately what I like to refer to as the windless mechanism activated. So therefore raising the arch of your foot as you lean back, having the toes pointed towards the knees and feeling that sensation. Now, for many of you at home, you might have great pain just getting into this position. If that is the case, then you want to start a little higher. And as you practice, even stabilize by putting your hands down or holding on to the yoga block and slightly distributing more weight towards the butt, towards the heel as you get better. Further, the stretch by laying the feet flat and then lowering down on to them, like so. And again, use the same yoga blocks to help you, guide you into the position. You can then ex widen your legs. Instead of being shoulder width apart, you can then widen your feet, having your butt sink between the two feet and receiving an intense stretch from doing that. And once you feel comfortable accomplishing those two stretches, it is now time to elevate the feet. And so what I like to do is just place two blocks and then proceeding to lean back onto the feet. Now, this is a very intense stretch. 
this cannot be the beginner. This is far after you've mastered the other stretches. And you just want to sit here and you want to stay here for a minimum of at least 90 seconds. Okay, it takes a while for your central nervous system to understand the new conditions and to adapt. Now, if you can accomplish or incorporate a stretch like this for four rounds of 90 seconds every day, you will see immediate results. If you spread the time out for recovery every other day or two days in between, you may not see as rapid a response, but you will receive a response nonetheless. Remember, it is about consistency. Just because you feel alleviated through one exposure to the exercise does not end the need of the exercise. These should be incorporated into your daily routine. All right, guys, thanks for watching.